What is up and welcome to another episode of Garage Visit. Why the hell am I talking like this? It's because I've been watching Top Gear. <laughs> and Supercars of London. Supercars of London. But anyway, back to regular programming. Uh, welcome to Gakimoto and here is another episode of Garage... <laughs> Garage? Here is another episode of Garage Visit. I'm in a new location today. Wow, the roads here are just amazing. I think it's because the trucks pass by here quite often. See, you'll notice there's quite a lot of warehouse garages over here. Where am I? I don't know because that sign over there just fell off. You have half a sign there. Now, okay, I am in the city of Paranaque. This is, I think, where C5 extension is supposed to extend to. And you'll notice to my right, it's the runway. This is where the airport is. And we would like to thank the one runway for all the delays. <laughs> this episode of Garage Visit, it has taken me to Paranaque city, my city. Gakimoto hailing from the city of Paranaque. Isn't it exciting? Aren't you all excited? How are you all liking the Garage Visit episodes? Aren't they fun? So I would like to thank my friend today for inviting me to his garage. I will drive you by the terminals. There are four terminals along the one runway. Airport code is MNL. This one over here is Naia. Terminal 1. This was the first international airport terminal. Yeah, this is what it looks like. It used to be so awesome, I think when it was newly built. Called Naia, it's an abbreviation for Ninoy Aquino International Airport. And then, you know, we didn't get creative after that. <laughs> Everything was just Naia 1, 2, 3, and 4. Yay! Whoop. There is a crossing bridge here that goes over to Terminal 2. It's nice, they try to beautify it. So basically, all y'all tourists, when you come over to the Philippines, you probably end up in that international airport. Unless you take the Philippine Airlines flight. This is Terminal 2. Construction going on, they're building a flyover from Manila to the airport, hoping to ease the roads and getting to the airports. I just took you through Terminal 1, Terminal 2, and now we're going to Terminal 4. I mean, look, to get to Terminal 3, you have a bridgeway already. How fantastic is that? And this is on my right. It looks like a Greyhound bus station. <sighs> Terminal 4 looks like a Greyhound bus station. It's domestic, but I think there are a couple of like budget airlines that fly international flights. Air Asia over here. It's their office. The best budget airline I have flown in my life. And I fly a lot of budget airlines. Why? Because I'm a cheapskate. <laughs> and today, ta-da! This episode of Garage Visit is taking me to a different kind of garage. Check it out. This is the cockpit. The what? Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I 
what do we have in this garage? You know, we have planes, a chopper, other planes. <laughs> Check it out. Augusta Brutale 1090RR. This is like the guy who like so generously offered his garage for today. Hanger. And Spike had a Duke before, right? Yes, I had a 390. A Duke 390, which she got rid of. Boo! <laughs> no, yeah! What? And there it is. We get to sit. I understand that's why I'm tiptoe. But this is it. How about that? It's an MV Ogusa. I am not going to try it just yet because um, it belongs to my friend's dad and we're going to need some permission. Hope you enjoyed garage visits and let me go hop back on my bike. I'll see you all soon. Peace out.